Hi, this is Salim Bharti and welcome to TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us Payal Chakravarti, VP of Product at Sizzik. Payal, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Swapna. Since I'm talking to Sizzik, so I'm, I'm kind of curious, you know, what is the importance of monitoring, you know, in today's cloud native landscape? Yep, sure. Um, so one thing that's happening in the cloud native landscape is applications are shipping really fast, right? And as applications ship fast, monitoring needs to be embedded into the DevOps workflow. And the other thing that's coming with this is these applications are running on containerized infrastructure. Uh, containers are ephemeral, dynamic, and that leads to a high explosion of data operational data. So how do you analyze that data? How do you scale, ingest, uh, gather that data? And how do you derive insights from that data becomes very relevant. So monitoring tools in the cloud native world need to adapt to handle that high volume of high cardinality uh, data metrics um, and being able to uh, ingest, scale, and analyze that data. Uh, there are already a lot of solutions that are already available and they are open source. So, for me, this is one. Uh, what kind of problem users, customers run into when they scale, uh, when they use Prometheus and suddenly they have to scale and they have to move some commercial solutions uh, to get an additional feature that they need. Right. Uh, Prometheus is a standardized way to collect metrics. You know, everybody, uh, developers love it. Uh, you, If they want to run a typical cloud native application stack where the infrastructure is based on Kubernetes and then they're running applications in Golang or using a stack which includes Nginx, MongoDB, Kafka, and things like that, uh, all have standard Prometheus exporters. Uh, so for the first time in the monitoring world, there is a standardized way of getting metrics. Um, and developers get started with installing Prometheus, getting Grafana, and getting dashboards and metrics out of the box quite, quite easily. But what happens uh, <coughs> eventually is as the company surpasses a, a handful of apps, uh, and it, it, it's not feasible then to manage the scale and growth of Prometheus environments. In an enter enterprise especially, uh, running in a Prometheus across an enterprise can result in uh, managing and federating several Prometheus servers, figuring out enterprise workflows like single sign-on, access control, adhering to SLAs or compliance, uh, and it becomes a reliability issue. Right? For an example, one customer mentioned how uh, one application team's sudden introduction of auto-scaling generated millions of time series and brought down their entire monitoring system. And they couldn't even get uh, uh, long-term data retention to uh, visualize trends over time. So um, this is where Sysdic comes in. Sysdic provides scale, enterprise controls, uh, without forcing developers to move away from Prometheus. With uh, Sysdic, you get PromQL, which is a, fav uh, which is a, a popular query language for Prometheus used by developers. When developers are writing Graf Grafana dashboards and their alerts, they're based on Prome uh, Prometheus query language or PromQL. And Sysdic provides native compatibility with that, which means that your uh, developers, dashboards, alerts, configs will continue to work as you scale and as you grow in an enterprise environment. So basically you allow uh, customers and users to bring the, all, their whole tool chain tools, you know, everything. Uh, they don't have to kind of, you know, drop everything else and move to. That's right, exactly. So uh, it's it gives uh, DevOps teams and platform ops teams, they love it because uh, they're, uh, you know, they're not asking, uh, we're not asking people to move away from the investments they've made, the choice of their tools. They continue to use the tools of their choice, but they don't have to manage the complexity and the backend and the, uh, and the open source uh, DIY nature of the solution. Can you talk about some of the... Uh either new features or capabilities that are you are adding uh, with the kind of you know iteration of the service and product yes um, there are uh, three key things uh, number one is uh, we number one is scale we have uh, a re-architected time series database that can ingest uh, tens of millions of time series per customer. So uh, the scale that we can handle is um, uh, is significant and we've proven it with our uh, IBM cloud partnership. We've built 
uh, a monitoring sol solution for all of IBM Cloud for all their external and internal customers. And that's based on Prometheus. So scale is number one. Number two is, as I mentioned, uh, compatibility. So Prometheus query language, uh, we are the only uh, commercial enterprise solution to provide Prometheus query language support end-to-end uh, -end, uh, with our product. Um, and that, re that, that is where you can retain the developer investment and uh, not have to ask them to redo their work. And the third thing which we are launching is very interesting even for developers is Prometheus Catalog. So Prometheus Catalog is a one-stop shop, uh, a repository of curated uh, exporters, dashboards, alerts, configurations for Prometheus. So for example, if you want to monitor <clears throat> A specific, uh, let's say MongoDB or Cassandra, you can go in, search for that uh, uh, integration. Uh, within a few clicks, you can get running with uh, uh, with dashboards and alerts. Uh, these are all, as you know, there's a lot of communities uh, support behind it, but uh, it, it takes uh, developers time to figure out, okay, which dashboard should I use? Which exporter should I use? Which version is it compatible with? And it almost sometimes take one week to figure out which integration actually works and then to keep it up, keep up with it with as the open source landscape changes, right? So we uh, will provide... Uh, Sysdic provides Prometheus catalog, uh, a completely curated, supported set of integrations provided by Sysdic, uh, and uh, the uh, the community can also con contribute to it. How can a community member, because there are different communities, get involved with the, the catalog? Yeah, so uh, when we launch, we'll show you that the Prometheus catalog will have a co contribute button. And uh, let's say somebody came up with a new um, uh, exporter or a new set of dashboards that are really insightful for a specific integration. They can submit, uh, they can contribute and submit that. And then Cystic, uh, Cystic's internal team will go through those uh, contributions. They will vet it, uh, test it, curate it, and then say, okay, this, this makes sense to be included uh, officially in the catalog uh, and will be supported by us for all upcoming releases. Are there specific in industries or verticals or companies you know or that you know either rely too much about it. can can they talk about that and or who are you know kind of typical cystic customers yeah, no, we have uh, uh, customers across the landscape. Um, financial services is a huge uh, sector. We have almost uh, 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 the key investment banks, key um, uh, st credit card companies, as well as uh, several other banks all over the world using us. Uh, media companies, uh, media companies often have the need to auto scale up and down and hence rely on containerized environments. Uh, we are seeing uh, any, almost every enterprise uh, in healthcare, insurance, um, uh, any enterprise where they are uh, all in on this journey towards the cloud to modernize their applications, uh, they are all uh, moving to containers, Kubernetes, and uh, Sysdig becomes uh, uh, you know a first choice for them uh, for monitoring and securing their uh, uh, their environments. There may be a lot of new uh, workload, new use case. I mean, if you look at edge computing, you know a lot of people are moving. So, what is the role of monitoring in that landscape? And if uh, that's under Sysdig's radar. No, Edge is very interesting, actually, in some way, because um, on Edge, you want lightweight uh, uh, lightweight metric collectors, right? You can't have anything heavyweight there. So actually, we've seen users where Prometheus exporters are uh, great, you know, where uh, they just emit a few metrics and then the uh, Cystic can collect that data remotely. Uh, um, without disclosing a whole lot, we have uh, customers who are looking into um, uh, pretty large edge environments uh, where uh, they need very, very lightweight um, collectors. And we are working with them specifically on solving their use cases where you can't, uh, where reliability is very important. Uh, uh, reachability is very important. You have to be able to access those uh, endpoints, but you cannot um, have anything heavyweight running there. Pyle, thank you for taking your time out and talking to me today. I was actually hoping to meet you all guys at KubeCon and all those other open source events were happening, but we are stuck in our houses. So so we are you know, doing this virtual thing, but you know, once again, thanks for taking your time out and uh, talking to me and explaining the whole uh, monitoring landscape. Sure, Swapnil, stay safe. Thank you guys, bye.